first time I've heard that one. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Uh, I did have an opening intro for you, but there was a few too many people around and I didn't feel comfortable talking around that. So, yeah, so you saw Liverpool first and now I'm letting you know that I am dying. Okay, hello, welcome back. This is a brand new episode. Um, we're on Tuesday now, we've been to Liverpool yesterday and we're on our way up to Glasgow and Edinburgh. But before we go there, we did have um, a slight change of plans yesterday um, because of circumstances. So what I'm doing today is I'm over in... In Kendall. Um, we're going to be going around Kendall and uh, Barrow, which is in the northwest, uh, very well, shortly and later on today. The plan was to go up to Glasgow straight away, but because of circumstances, we're not going to go up there straight away. So we're going to go visit this like, this little town first, and then we'll be going around Glasgow tomorrow. So let's get to it. which is just south of the Lake District. Um, I'm going to be honest, on the drive into this place, it doesn't look like the happiest place in the world, I'll admit. Um, but hopefully that's just... The, the sky is extremely grey, so I'm just hoping that's the... It's just the persona that's making me think that it's not a very pleasant place to be. I mean, there's a nightclub right here called Skint Nightclub. Let's open that doesn't it just say it all. It looks like a very industrially 
dominant kind of town. There's a, there's a massive uh, shipyard over there. <coughs> BAE Systems looks quite dominant over it as well. But yeah, fingers crossed the town centre is happy enough. Just pulled over and I want to show you something. has a mess but it'll do. <laughs> this is the kind of the money shot that I've been looking to take a picture of. Um, but we're disappointed it, it's not the road I was thinking of going to but stumbled across it nonetheless and oh my god it's a shit view. So let's pan it around so you can see a bit more of it. So it's behind me up the cliff slides, clouds kind of, well the mountain kind of going up into the clouds and obviously down there the big view. We have some clouds right up there actually but to us they're just not willing to go all the way up the mountains. Uh, we, we do have a schedule. So a few episodes back I did want to kind of come to a place like this and kind of explain a few things but it didn't happen so I suppose now it's now's as good a time as any to try and lay that on you. I've been to a lot of towns and cities now. A lot of towns and cities and I do see a familiar pattern in all of them. Especially the ones who kind of look at me as if I've just come out of space. I'm not even talking about this thing, I'm just talking about a person in general. It's like, oh, there's an outcomer. And you know those are the kind of one, those are the ones who have pretty much spent their entire lives living in the exact same place. You know, just, just ceasing to exist in the wrong little town, a, a town that's not even on the radar. And it's kind of the one thing that annoys me because I'm seeing it every day. I see these kind of people every day now where I just think what's happened in your life that you can really look back on and say you've led a great life when you've never left your own town, you've never explored, you've never seen, or you never lived out your full potential, you've just done the bare minimum necessary to exist. And it really, no, it's, it, it doesn't know me, but I think it more, more than anything just saddens me to think that there are people out there who, who will live and die in the towns that they were born in. Maybe they're satisfied with that. I don't know. I, I don't know. But how can you when there's... I mean, I'm in... I, I, like, you know, I've just left Barrow and Kendall. And I've found a place like that's as amazing as this. 
and how many people know about it? How many... I don't know anyone, like, within my area who's visited this place. It's not that far away. But they don't come here nonetheless, and they don't go anywhere else either. So I'll just go to the shops, or I'll just go to the park. Um, you miss out on things like this. And this is quite small, this is quite pitiful in comparison to a lot of places around the world that never get explored or visited. These videos are kind of a, a memoir to myself as far as where I've been this year. I can't really go back in time and collate for the, the other two years I've been doing this, but more than anything else, this is kind of my way of saying to people, look, these places are right next door to you. You know, you should go through them, you should go see what what's happening there. Because if you don't, then what's the point? You're not living your life if you're not going to see the world. It's not a life worth living, I don't think.